Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and I'm here today to share with you how you can do some heat embossing with your pigment ink pads. So I'm going to do heat embossing on both a black piece of cardstock and a white piece just to show you the different results you can get. I am prepping both with my embossing bag. Now to replace this you can use a dryer sheet, a cotton ball with some baby powder or cornstarch on it, or any embossing anti-static tool you might have on hand. I'm inking up my stamp with the pigment ink pad, any color will do here. And then I'm just going to stamp it down first onto my black piece of cardstock. And then I can re-ink my stamp and stamp it onto the white piece of cardstock. Now because this ink stays wet long, you do need to move just a little quickly, but you have time to stamp them both out and the embossing powder will stick, still stick to the ink because it still will be nice and wet. So once I have stamped that down onto both pieces of cardstock, I will lay them both onto this folded piece of paper here, and then sprinkle on some clear embossing powder. Now you do need to use clear embossing powder here so the color does show through. I'm using a regular clear embossing powder. You can use whatever clear embossing powder you have on hand. Once I've sprinkled down that embossing powder, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up both pieces of cardstock and dust off the excess. Give it a few taps on the back. And then I can funnel all that extra embossing powder that is left over on the white piece of paper back into its container so you don't waste any at all. Now I'll just use my tweezers to hang on to each piece of cardstock and I'll use my heat tool to go ahead and melt this embossing powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you this nice and up close so you can see just how cool this looks whenever the heat hits it and it melts the embossing powder. You can see immediately once it starts to melt and that color really starts to pop through. Once it's all nice and melted you can go ahead and move on to your next one. You don't want to overheat this because you can melt your embossing powder so just make sure you don't overheat but you also don't want to underheat because then your embossing powder won't stick to the image. So I'm moving on to this one and again you can see that embossing powder melting as it goes along. It, along, it goes from white to a nice clear shiny finish and it will end up being a very hard finish as well. There you can see the end results for both pieces of cardstock here so it works on both dark and light cardstock with your pigment ink and clear embossing powder. There's, there's a closer look at the end results and if you guys are interested in the supplies I used today, they're all linked over on my blog. The link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching.